Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and today I'm doing a quick PSA to let you know about a new campaign between Final Fantasy XIV and Twitch. This is not the first time they've done a Twitch campaign. They actually did the Fat Black Chocobo event a few years back, where if you gifted the streamer four subs, you would earn the mount. This is not a paid campaign in any way. You will not have to spend a dime. Instead, you'll just have to spend a little time. Now, this campaign is the Chocorpaker Twitch Viewer Rewards campaign. The Chocorpaker, ironically enough, I didn't plan this, uh, was previously available as, I think it's been available in a couple of different ways, but the big one was they did a Butterfinger collaboration. And so, you know, you had to buy like however many Butterfinger and then prove that you had it. I don't actually remember exactly how the campaign went, but that's what it was before. Uh, this time, completely unrelated with that, you just have to watch some Final Fantasy XIV Twitch streams and you'll be good to go. Now, you'll have to tune in to anyone who's in the category who meets any of the criteria that we'll say below between Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, July 2nd at 1 a.m. official launch day and Monday, July 29th at 1 a.m. Pacific. Uh, now, that's the day before Savage, so that's a good way of measuring it. Now, it's not the only reward from this campaign. Basically, on Twitch, whenever a company wants to work with Twitch, uh, they can do these drops things where you basically watch a stream for a certain amount of time and then you gradually earn rewards. So for this, as long as the streamer themselves has Twitch drops turned on, which I always do. Uh, so essentially, if you watch one hour of Final Fantasy 14 with anyone who has drops enabled, you will earn an EXP boost meal set, the buttery Mog Biscuit and fat Choco Choco. Now, Important thing about those, those are actually 4% EXP buff foods. The traditional standard is 3%. So while that's not a big deal, I mean, hey, it's uh, several, you know, I assume it's 10 of each, not 10 total. Uh, maybe it's 10 total. I don't know, whatever. It's 4% it's EXP food, and it's a new expansion coming out. You're probably going to want it. Three hours of any qualifying stream gets you 10 Etherite tickets. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little insulted by that given how easy it is to get Ether 8 tickets, but whatever, it's a freebie. At six hours watched, you get the Chocorpaker Whistle Mount. So that's it. You just got to watch any qualifying streamer with for, for six hours, and it'll pop up in your, your Twitch inbox. So this is all the steps on how it actually works. Log into your Twitch account. Visit someone with viewer rewards tag enabled to start accumulating the time. Uh, you can also see... So, uh, streamers and then this one's on streamers they should check to make sure that they have it item code rewards will be earned once the required hours have been watched and uh, you'll get a notification for it with twitch's system notifications uh, streams played in the background or via inactive tabs won't count that's an important thing in case you were planning on just setting it someplace where you didn't have to pay any attention to it now uh, it's also just a quick disclaimer here. If you've watched streams before July 2nd at 1 a.m., it doesn't matter. You have to start watching from that point. And then this is just how to redeem items on the Mog Station, which, you know, you've probably done a handful of times yourself. And the actual item code details. Uh, service account must be registered to your Square Enix account. Cannot be redeemed on a free trial account. Uh, reward items will be distributed to a single character of your choice. Now, that's the important detail. This is not an account-wide mount, so make sure you give it to someone that you'll actually be using. Uh, item codes can only be redeemed once. Please do not lose them. Transfer or sale is strictly prohibited. Uh, it may be possible to obtain these via other means in the future. This is the second or third time they've made it available, so that's normal. And the codes themselves do not expire, so if you do have a free trial account and you can't put it in, don't worry, you're not under any strict time limit to actually make that happen. Uh, yeah, and any viewer on Twitch can participate in the campaign, but you can only redeem it if you actually play Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, you know, same deal with the free trial thing. You know, you can earn it. You just won't be able to put it in until you actually start playing the game. Uh, yeah, and then these are just all the basic Q&A. Can I, can I still earn the code on Twitch even if I don't play Final Fantasy XIV or have an account? Uh, how do I confirm which channels are eligible? Just anyone with viewer rewards tag. Again, that's not specific streamers. It's anyone with that enabled. Uh, where can I find my campaign rewards? There's a Twitch notification inbox that it'll go to. If you have problems receiving your code on Twitch, then you can contact support. And are there any restrictions on regions that, regions that are eligible? No. Uh, now, keep in mind, however, please note the campaign rewards cannot be redeemed on the Korean or Chinese versions of 14. But yeah, for Europe, I think this is the first opportunity they've had for the Chocorpaker. And there's a ton of regions around the world that have never had the opportunity to earn the Chocorpaker. So you don't have to worry about that. It's not NA only. JP... No, it's literally anyone on Twitch just with that one stipulation of not being able to use use it on the Korean or Chinese versions, which are totally separate entities from the global version. But 
That's going to be a wrap for this PSA. Just figured I should let you all know, especially given launches around the corner. So thank you for watching this quick video. Be sure to like and share and keep an eye out for all the Dawn Trail stuff coming this week. I've got some important stuff I got to cover this week uh, in terms of channel plans for the actual expansion launch so people know what I'm actually going to be posting on the channel. And so keep an eye out for that. I'm actually planning a couple of other videos as well this week between preliminary, state of the realm, and of course my first clears on a lot of stuff. Guides, you know the drill. But thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, take care.